YouTube and social media, peep this out guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you. Here on a sunny, crispy day in Southern California, guys, headed over to Church's Chicken to pick up one of my favorite combos. Only this time, it's actually gonna be with something that I have never personally tried before. But apparently, it's pretty popular and it's back on the menu for a limited time only. That's right, guys. Every so often, I gotta get my Church's Chicken on because as they say, love comes in small, delicious batches. Well, that's what Church's Chicken says anyway. But truth be told, they've got a $4.44 combo that's been going for a little while now. I've actually reviewed it in the past and it is is really really tasty but the main reason that I'm here is because of this little container of goodness that I'm hearing is pretty awesome. It's the return of Church's signature purple pepper sauce. Now I'm not taking a closer look at this label until we get right up on that close up coming up in just a second here guys but I'm thinking this is going to be pretty awesome and it definitely looks pretty tasty and the first thing that pops into my mind with this is like a blueberry preserve or like a jam or something like that so I'm thinking that could be interesting if that's what this is. So come with me real quick while I satisfy the curiosity to see exactly what this purple pepper sauce is all about. But before I give it that first taste to give you my thoughts on it like I I always do let's see what this is actually going to be going on first let's peep this out great with Church's made from scratch honey butter biscuits. Church's Chicken has been delivering the goods for over 65 years, guys, and this fan favorite combo looks to continue that trend very, very nicely. Now, I've done many reviews here at Church's in the past, so hit up that playlist popping up in the upper right-hand corner of your display. There's a lot of great stuff to look at there. But just to give you a refresher on this one, we've got three 100% white meat tender strips that are hand-breaded and fried up to a nice, crispy golden brown. Always a fantastic presentation here at Church's. And alongside that, we've got a very nice-looking honey butter biscuit. They're world famous over here and they are definitely delicious. And to round out that deliciousness even further are two sides here guys. We've got mashed potatoes and gravy and coleslaw. But the real reason that I'm revisiting this one once again guys is because apparently there is the return of something that I have never tried that they are really hyping up called purple pepper sauce. And as you guys can tell by the ingredients list there, I think I've got some heat coming my way, guys. Habanero peppers, red bell peppers in there. That just sounds like it is gonna be pretty, pretty tasty. And of course, it's gonna go on all of that delicious goodness that we've got right over here. I'm gonna try it on both the chicken and that honey butter biscuit as recommended. Very excited to give this a go. This is the 444 combo here at Church's with the return of the purple pepper sauce. Let's peep out this flavor. Church's chicken, big pieces, little prices. Mm, mm mm Crispy golden goodness as always. And like I mentioned earlier, make sure to hit the playlist in the upper right hand corner of our display and take a look at all the goodness that Church's Chicken has to offer because right now it is all about getting into that purple pepper sauce. So let's get into it. Wow, that's pretty wild. The aroma in this one smells almost like a jelly-like spreadable jam, kind of like a whip puree. I mean, it does have the appearance of like a blueberry type of spread that you would put on toast or something like that, but there's actually little flakes of what I'm thinking are those habanero peppers and the red bell peppers in here as well. But it really is kind of playing with my head because of the appearance of it. As you can see, it's got that dark blueberry look to it there, and hopefully you guys can pick up those flakes in the very back of it here. But let's give it a go with the famous chicken over here at Church's Chicken and see exactly what this is gonna do. But it is definitely purple, guys. Look at that. It almost looks like I'm dipping this into jelly. Very uncharacteristic of how I have my chicken here, but let's give this a go. It definitely looks pretty thick. Purple pepper sauce action here at Church's Chicken. Mmm. Wow, that is pretty tasty. And I do have to say, although it is on the sweet side as expected, you're getting a nice bit of heat in the back of your throat with this, guys. It really kind of creeps up as you're eating it there, but the flavor is very reminiscent, believe it or not, of like a fruity jam but with a little bit of heat on the back end there. It's still playing with my head though, because there's no fruit in this. And of course it goes amazingly well with the coating on the chicken itself here, which is also a very nice juicy situation. So the combination is a very delicious one, guys. Really glad that this is actually back on the menu. And I've personally never seen it on the menu to begin with. So hey, what's new for me is hopefully new for you guys watching this right now. Let me give you another shot of the juiciness that are the tender strips here at Church's Chicken, guys. Before we go for another badunk dunk into this purple pepper sauce, I am really digging the quality of what the flavor is on this. And like I said, it's just playing with my head because even though there's no fruit in this, I'm thinking that there is. And while I do prefer ranch and honey mustard over stuff like this, I would easily get this again. This is pretty tasty. Mmm. So good. I'm really digging the heat. All right, now they really recommend giving this purple pepper sauce a shot with one of their honey butter biscuits. So let's get this ready for action. I am just gonna pour some of this on top. And as you can see, very thick, very much ready for action. Let's give this a go. Mmm, mmm. Again, it's still playing with my head. I'm getting like a jelly donut vibe with this, but I do have to say the honey butter biscuits on their own, 
always very delicious. Light and fluffy in the inside, crunchy and dense on the outside. Very delicious with a nice sweet wash of the honey butter on top. But it's that sweet preserve-like taste that I'm getting from the purple pepper sauce on top of the heat in the background that really adds to it there. So you're mixing the light crunchiness that I'm getting from the actual biscuit, but with the nice sticky sweet taste of the purple pepper sauce, guys. It really is a pretty delicious situation on top of almost being a tongue twister right now. Very, very delicious and some pretty nice sweet heat. This sauce has no problem sticking to whatever it's on, guys. And as you can see on the inside of the honey butter biscuit there, there is lots that it can actually latch onto here. It's getting into all the little nooks and crannies on the outside of the world famous biscuits here at churches and it really is a nice combo especially with the added bonus of the honey butter mixing in with the heat and the sweetness in general. So what do you guys think about this one? Do you think this purple pepper sauce is better suited to the honey butter biscuits themselves or is it still more suited just for the chicken by itself? Drop a comment down below, definitely let me know. And as for the score on this one, on that bomb sexy for your face scale of one to 10, the purple pepper sauce returning here to Church's Chicken that also happens to be new to me is gonna get a solid eight out of 10. It delivers some sweet heat that presents like it's something that you would spread on some toast, but it really does round out the flavors of what Church's Chicken has to offer, especially on their honey butter biscuits. Very tasty. And that's it for this episode of Peep This Out, guys. As you know, I've got content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, and real quick, let me send a shout out to YouTuber Brian's Kodak, who jumped on one of my live streams over this past weekend there. He also wanted me to shout out his buddy Matt Boyd, who plays for the Detroit Tigers. Guys, thanks so much for the support. And to all my other peeps out there, stay tuned to my social media. You'll find all the details for all the upcoming live streams posted there, especially on Twitter and Instagram. So stay tuned. There's a lot to look forward to. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon.